Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are trying to reach a new milestone. It's our live because it's the um, for the winter time and the summertime will begin tomorrow. Well, I don't try to give you a, a very short explanation of this beautiful sun summer time, but well, the living is easy because we are trying to get a new information. Uh, the theme of our lecture of nowadays is uh, Resident Evil. You remember this film, you, this movie, you, I hope you remember, or some of younger especially know this computer game. Uh, what's the problem? Why do we say about Resident Evil and criminal law? What do I mean in that? It's very simple. Uh, what do you think about the object of crime? What do you think about uh, actus reus, so the outer side of uh, criminal activity? Why do you think that that is the position under which we uh, have to analyze and have to understand what they had to do with that? Exactly. Just remember uh, Friedrich Engels' uh, quotation when he said that when Englishmen and to fire witches, um, they began to hang uh, counterfeiters. It's very simple. The changes in the economy and political situation makes the changes in social uh, values. Exactly, they make the changes in political and social ideology. Mostly, they give a, uh, specific elements under which we are trying to give uh, a glimpse on criminal ideology, or not the ideology of criminals, but criminal ide ideology is ideology of criminal law, like psychology of criminal law and criminal relationships. You know that, uh, and it's very, very um, uh, sophisticated, if I want to say that. Crime is socially determined. The notion of crime is socially determined too. Uh, criminalization is socially, politically, ideologically uh, determined from one. From the second way, all of these characteristics are uh, making a specific uh, mixture, especially in the nowadays situation, because information society, mass communications, communications via internet resources of our social uh, networks will give a specific situation under which we'll try not only to socially determine the notion of crime, but we'll try to give it under our understanding of what evil is. Witches and witchcrafting in the Middle Ages, uh, counterfeiting at the bourgeois times, or what they have now. Now we have coronavirus, and now we have a specific crimes against uh, widespreading coronavirus. Why do we do that? Because of the evil. Because of the evil activity. Because of what we call the evil. Because of what we call evil activity or what we call object of crime and what we uh, call the characteristics of social awareness. Sometimes we can't say anything about social awareness because uh, it is not typical to us. From communist regime or from social position, social awareness is connected with the characteristics of object, characteristics of evil. But uh, what is evil? What is evil for our life? Virus, from one point of view, or uh, people's activity from the other. How to combine it? What did we say, for example, about the specific elements of uh, subject activity? You know that, for example, now when uh, mm, 
a group of our scientists which is working on uh, constitutional and uh, criminal legal reform are interested in understanding of uh, specific elements or specific kinds of subjects of crime. Natural persons from one point of view, juridical persons from the second point of view, the states from the uh, point of uh, transnational uh, crimes under United Nations uh, Court of Justice or something else. Should they say that uh, artificial intellect should be uh, the subject of crime? We'll discuss it later. But the, all of these positions are connected with the uh, outer uh, activity, the activity which is uh, should be qualified as an element or the result of social awareness. Well, people aware of something, and people aware of some, uh, uh, something which constitutes the criminal activity too. So, awareness of evil uh, in residence makes Moloch and crimes Moloch in set, crimes by their sense, evil as a crimes by their sense, you understand? That? Awareness of evil which is constructed like Corellum virus during this period of time uh, makes Moloch prohibited. That is the way. Ideology of uh, modern criminal law is constructed that, uh, by the way of the elements of fear, awareness, sin, and what are these three elements and how could they influence on the definition of crime and definition of punishment. That's all. After that, that's all because uh, from that point of view, one shall, uh, to analyze the Lombrizo's position and the Lombrizo ideology as a whole. But we use that. We use it now because the fear of crime and fear of evil give us the possibility to uh, substitute some elements, substitute some uh, influences on crime level from the, one of the points that is the punishment and the second point that's the specific criminal measures. You know that. We use that. And sometimes only political flour during the Second World War and at the beginning of the Hitler's Nazi or Stalin's regime and Stalin's repression gave us an, a new glimpse in this situation. But that is the fact, for example, when we are our public is aware on uh, well sexual perverts. We say that that is an evil, and that's why we use chemical castration as a specific criminal relation measure. You know that, but one could say anything about that. Why? Because that's an evil. Because that's something which is not understandable. To my mind, it's my opinion, uh, what differs from you? Objects of crime is, are connected with the social communication. And social communication uh, is aware of physical making up of crime. So make up of crime, just so to understand. Especially for women, it's very interesting. Making up, making something like uh, your nose, your eyebrows, and, and so on and so forth. Now it's very hard to do, especially when all head rates and new beauty salons are closed. But from the other points of view, we can analyze the makeup of crime uh, during the lecture on Resident Evil. Okay, so physical making of crime, the making up of crime, is constructing it according to resident understanding of what evil is. That is the first idea and the first block which I want to share with you. The second position, object of crime. Nobody knows what does it mean now from one point of view. From the second point of view, everybody knows about that. As usual, uh, uh, in international law or in uh, domestic law on common law countries uh, or other uh, specific jurisdictions, like one can't say anything about that. Before, uh, because traditional 
understanding of uh, or legal understanding of what crime is is based only on legal uh, characteristics or legal prohibition of crime without any material characteristics of crime so material characteristics of crime or uh, characteristics of crime which are based on the main ideas of uh, Slavic uh, ideology yes well, they based, uh, they traditionally uh, use these, these four elements, object, uh, object matter of crime, subject and subject matter of crime. Sometimes we'll be uh, trying to analyze it in this concept, but sometimes we use, uh, well, tradition, common law understanding of what uh, actus reus means, like, uh, more sophisticated position in modern uh, legal system. Another point of view, if you look through Article 25 of uh, Rome Statute, we say that the International Criminal Court shall have jurisdiction over natural persons uh, in fact when a person commits a crime and should, uh, uh, this person shall be individually responsible and liable. That is the idea. Committing a crime means something which is connected with the actus reus and liability is connected with mens rea element. Nobody said about the specific object of international crime, but it, it, it exists. Uh, well, one more position uh, before I'll give you any information, just a glimpse of information about uh, traditional understanding of what object of crime is, you know, and we just discussed it uh, earlier, uh, the beginning of the processes. Uh, you know that criminal law is exists in three, uh, well, as to my mind, it exists in three dimensions. One of them, that is legal form, the law, as a specific written document with a specific characteristic of it, of its adopting and so on and so forth. The second one, the law in ideology. The law in professional psychology. And the third one, this is law in action. Sometimes it's very interesting, it, it differs each other. Because our psychology, or, or psychology of scientists, or criminal scientists as a whole, differs from psychology of uh, non lawyers. Especially when I say about the, well, the specialists in judicial reform, or uh, judges, prosecutors, investigators, well, police officers, they have a specific understanding of what criminal law is. They have this specific understanding and give them a glimpse of the situation. Sometimes when we uh, communicate about the characteristics or the structure of criminal legal norm, we are saying that criminal legal norm is uh, constructed especially for, uh, well, specialists in criminal activity. I don't think that they are the uh, uh, well the criminals. Offenses are created. Offenses are made. And these offenses uh, uh, qualify for the lawyers. And the aim of the lawyer, aim of the investigator, to find the proper offense. Aim of the judge to find the proper sanction for this offense. And that is the relationship between offender, from one point of view and judicial system from the other. This connection gives us the characteristics of criminal responsibility as a whole. And there is a law, a law in action. The written law, the law in action in psychology, psychological or ideological characteristics of law as a whole. That's a glimpse. That's why, for example, uh, one of the greatest lawyers of, uh, eight, uh, of 19th century, uh, the founder of uh, basic uh, uh, criminal law of uh, Tsarist Russia, uh, Professor Taganzev said that uh, uh, 
the object of criminal law is uh, criminal norm is in its real life so the realization of criminal law gives us the object you understand that that crime and criminal law has to uh well supply some uh elements of securing people and securing people securing states securing legal persons and so on and so forth we do our best for making the object if somebody uh puts his arm on these values that is the object of the norm that's why for example there is a very very specific uh discussion during uh well mistaken during 25 years uh since uh the beginning of the collapse of the soviet union when we just prepared the new fundamentals of uh, all union fundamentals of uh, criminal law which should be uh enforced since 1999 that the soviet union collapsed and after that we you know, can't do that there were a very very uh, huge glimpse of ideas under which the traditional socials view on the object of crime and social uh relations uh, is uh, not enforced as a whole one people say about the the, the object of crime and that the element of material world which is uh, carried a specific criminal impact the second said that it is concrete material object uh, which is influenced by this impact the third said that it is or uh, they are the the values uh, influently uh, connected with an offender violation of specific social relations so relations and social relations and the part of the relations is one for the benefits the second one the values the third one the intellectual activity the fourth the behavior of people the fifth the living beings in the whole the six because some people say that victims of crime the uh, they are the main object of the uh, victims activity and victims characteristics are the main object of crime as a whole from my point of view or the humans as a whole they are the uh, objects humans and humans activity because uh the aim of uh, modern criminal law is protect people you remember this uh, traditional sign of American uh, police machine to serve and protect protecting people under criminal law measures that's the main element at which we're we're working now and that's why it is interesting to do that so as for me relationships benefits values intellectual activity behavioral activity and so on and support so as a victim's activity too that is the word word for one point of view yes uh as for me as the author of one of the first books on uh victims rights uh the, the post-soviet uh, space this is uh, this book was uh, uh printed in uh, uh millennia and to solve it well and from one point of view victims of crime uh, well as people who suffer uh well uh, specific uh, reactions uh, under declaration of basic principles of uh, justice for victims of crime and abuse of power which was uh, adopted by general assembly of united nations uh, on 29th of uh, november of 1985 so victims of crime are the basic figures in criminal work but they are the hidden figures that is the fact and that is the fact for example that when i was one of the authors who just created the basic principles of uh, uh treatment of victims in uh, ukrainian legislation but it, it is not working we have an article in 1177 of our civil code that said that the state has a specific civil responsibility before a victim but it is not working well, that's the typical case where we say it as a whole. Just try to understand that, for example, when uh, European Court of Human Rights uh, throw out 
12,000 cases under uh, case of Burmish versus Ukraine for the uh, well, cabinet of ministers. It was made for the one sole purpose. Ukraine as a state or any state which is uh, in transition period has no much amount of money for making their life better or for compensating not only the victim but the uh, well, the weakness of abuse of powers, it's an element to it. A very specific element, by the way, because uh, one can't understand the difference between five levels of uh, uh, stages or under five levels of qualification of human rights. Under the first position, this uh, the first level of rights, which are connected with the right to life, for and so on and so forth. Social rights, well, just by the way, they are not included in uh, European uh, Convention. Well, we have a specific legislation, but social rights for the states and abuse of rights, abuse of powers under this situation. It depends on, on uh, the money which states should give in this situation. And uh, when we're it's the economic crisis when uh, we are the political crisis and so on and so forth. It's very hard to do in that. That is why we are saying here, and the criminology said that uh, attitudes and uh, benefits, values, and relationships are constructing the new, uh, well, substrate. From one point, that is material substrate for understanding of relay social relationships and their work and influence on object of crime, and from the second uh, point, that is an intellectual. An intellectual substrate is connected with the uh, people's awareness and evil. That is why the uh, common characteristics of object of nowadays should be noted as a uh, real threat or substantial substantial partly hard to protect public relations values benefits and ordinary people that is the case that is the position under which we uh, should work due to uh, old scheme of Tagansev's idea criminal norm is an object in life. So, life of criminal law is the basic object. And it's Ukrainian tradition, some people say about qualification of, uh, of uh, these objects and, uh, well, distribution of these objects under uh, some uh, qualifying characteristic. As usual, we say about general object of crime, the group object of crime, individual or immediate object. And on the level of individual or immediate object, uh, one could say about main or and additional object. Of, for example, where to object crimes where uh, some people said about robbery and due to uh, legislation in the forest, uh, robbery is a uh, specific crime when uh, people or the offender take uh, some property with the uh, risk of uh, giving a, a valuable harm to victims. So from one point of view, that is, uh, well, the property relationships, so they, from the second point of view, these are personal relationships as a whole. I don't know whether it's right or not, because as to my mind, it's in the position uh, which is based on the decisions of the European Court of Human Rights. It would be better for the state uh, that uh, in this situation one can't say about the uh, property as the main uh, object, because the main object should be personal characteristics and personal security, and life and all of the characteristics of living. Uh, uh, being are at, should be at the first place, at the top of the list, not somewhere else like it was at socialist period of time, when the state was uh, the main element of uh, uh, nowadays life.
instruments and proceeds of craft. It's a very interesting theme, and sometimes you should, uh, if you are interested in it, you should find a great amount of information in the works, for example, of Professor Muzika, who gives his best, saying some words about proceeds of offense. From one point of view, that's, uh, they are the substantial elements for corpus uh, deleting, we should uh, understand that proceeds, uh, these are uh, additional elements that are influenced and sometimes uh, they should play a main role in uh, qualification of crime if they are included, especially in uh, criminal law, in definition of what specific crime is in the a uh, special part of criminal court or special uh, part of other uh, criminal law. Instruments of crime are the means by which uh, it is done. Sometimes the characteristics of instruments of crime are involved in, the, in legal construction, sometimes not, sometimes we are working with specific documents or specific assets when we say, in, for example, uh, about special confiscation in criminal law or a confiscation of means uh, in uh, disciplinary practice or in practice of uh, uh, criminal procedure. At this rep, the last chapter of uh, nowadays uh, lecture, the actus layers is, is, is connected with the one main Shakespeare idea. Do you remember when uh, they find uh, Ophelia uh, in Hamlet? They asked, does the water fell to Ophelia or Ophelia fell to the water? What's the difference? The difference is uh, the characteristics of uh, specific uh, acts of uh, human behavior. So these acts are commission. It's the main act with which uh, people are conducting with a specific harm or with the result of this conduct. Omission which is prohibited by law in a specific situation when uh, this reflex could be uh, give uh, uh, well uh, criminal results, uh, well, some people say about criminal possession, well, uh, the reflexive practice or uh, special practice uh, should give us uh, the possibility to uh, qualify the act of human conduct as uh, crime too. Well, just remember the Article 25, uh, Article 25 of uh, International Criminal of Rome Statute will say that the International Criminal Court uh, shall have the jurisdiction over several person, persons, person to this statute. A person who commits a crime within the jurisdiction shall be individually responsible and liable for punishment in accordance with this statute. A person who commits a crime. Committing a crime, committing a specific physical act or a specific act of the mission, if you are, you are not committing anything, but you have to be obliged for doing that, for example, yes. Or the law or your status or your position, social position, give you a specific obligation to do something in this situation. Not, not to do, but to do as a whole. These are the main ideas. So. Uh, as usual, act is reus is understanding as physical conduct, uh, its failure or the specific state of being which is prohibited by law. So, that's all from one point of view. From the second point of view, we have a specific uh, elements of criminal act or specific elements of act is reus which are united its together uh, exactly the, in any of uh, uh, criminal norms, usually in any of criminal. So this is a criminal act, this is causation, and this is uh, the result. Sometimes we just uh, are focusing only on criminal act, but this criminal act is so dangerous that we uh, qualify this uh, 
uh, it's as uh, the uh, crime which is committed. Sometimes we are focused on the, uh, the result. When we say about commitment of crime and the result, there is a specific thin blue line, line which is connected with the causation, strict causation. Sometimes it's very interesting, and for example, you should find a very, very a huge amount of literature connected with the causation and causative connection uh, in uh, criminal matters because it's very specific and sometimes uh, it uh, old ages one could know uh, couldn't say anything about the changes of uh, <clears throat> social results and additional uh, additional elements of actus reus uh, are place time means instruments and so on and so forth so place time means instruments uh, they are influenced on uh, the characteristics of the evil against evil awareness of uh, and causation of crime and that's why sometimes they are uh, included in uh, uh, criminal norm or definition of criminal norm of special part and that's why they are as a part of this definition they are uh, they have to, to be analyzed sometimes place time means instruments and so on and so forth should be analyzed especially when we uh, well, trying to sentence people. So sentencing on all of the elements of sentencing, which are connected with the plus or the minus of for people's behavior, should be analyzed, calculated, and after that the judge has to decide what kind of punishment should be given for the offender. But one of the main elements which we are not evolved up to the, this moment is connected with one idea making up all the outer elements of uh, crime making up an evil making up an evil for our residents means nothing without subject matter of crime the subject matter of crime should be the theme of our next lecture thank you